Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Blue Marble Science. Are these flat earthers getting worried about gravity? I'd say terrified is more like it. What's causing that? Well, it's this thing, of course. This is the Cavendish experiment, and not only does it show the unmistakable attraction of mass to other mass, it also gives us a great way to measure accurately the universal gravitational constant. I mean, it's undeniable. When you watch what happens when those masses are moved in close proximity to one another, it shows up just like this on this graph, and you can see it real time. Every time we run it, 100% of the time. So, this gravity thing has really got them seriously worried, but, you know, why is that? Well, let's take a look. Cavendish simply destroys one of the cornerstones of the Flat Earth religion. If gravity exists, then there is no dome necessary. If you don't have a dome, that means space and satellites can and will be real. Uh-oh. And that means that all of our photos from space are legitimate and flat Earth is dead. Yeah, I guess that's a good reason to be frightened. Now, what is Flat Earth going to do about Cavendish? Well, I'll tell you what. They're going to try to discredit the experiment. Of course, that's what they'll do. And when they can't do that, they'll just attack me. And that's what they're in the process of doing now. So step one, let's misrepresent the facts. They'll claim that I don't know what I'm doing or I'm doing it wrong. They'll accuse me of somehow or the other cheating on all of these tests that you guys have watched live. They'll demand a bunch of unnecessary tests and they will reject the test results no matter what. I mean, this is the only thing they have and the only thing they can do. Now, step two will be to launch into the personal attacks. And we all know how adept Nathan Oakley and Quantum Eraser are at that. But, you know, when you don't have an argument, you just call the guy a bunch of names. And that's what they do. But beyond that, they'll now toss in no end of red herrings. Like Nathan Oakley's latest, uh, gravity can't work because gas molecules don't stick together. Yeah, we'll get around to that one, Nathan. Believe me, we'll get there. And finally, they'll do everything they can now to try to justify their pseudoscience relative density disequilibrium nonsense. We're going to wreck that little playhouse for you too, fellas. But you know, the one thing you guys can't do is deny this. This is tracker software, and it's tracking the position of the torsion balance in the Cavendish experiment. This is a measurement that I ran last night. That would be April the 18th. Now this clock is inadvertently set for standard time, so it's actually 6.56 right now on that clock. But if you watch at 7.10, you're going to see this perfectly damped oscillation deviate substantially. And the reason it's going to do that is because that's exactly the time when I move the large weights, the large masses, to the opposite side of the enclosure. It is a clear demonstration of mass attracting mass, and there's not one thing in the world you guys can do to deny it. Now watch this, right at the peak is where I moved it. Now the masses are on the opposite side, and look what the oscillations do. They move upward by about oh, 30 millimeters on average. There's no way you can deny this, guys. This is mass attracting mass. You can make all the excuses you want to. You can whine and cry all you like, but you're not going to change the facts. Mass attracts mass. That is clear. That is irrefutable. So go ahead with your childish personal insults. That just simply means that you have no argument. You're merely admitting that you've already lost. That's okay with me. I don't really care. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. You're going to see some more of this very shortly. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. 
shout out to the patrons and PayPals who have been so generous in contributing to the Cavendish Project. And I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>